They built a warehouse would be close to the house. We got something magical. Pretending that nobody knows. Trying to hide but it shows. Lost my sense of logical. Think that I'm gonna explode. Echoes inside of my bones. They built a warehouse would be close to the house. As I promised. We are doing another video and we always do videos where we're discussing marriage issues and different things on how to solve them and all of that. And I thought we should do a little fun one. That always scares me. <laughs> a little fun video. Always, always frightens me. I don't know why he's frightened. You'll see. You'll see why. <laughs> and what this is, and, and we're doing an Amazon haul video. And these are basically all my things. Uh, it's like y'all, Amazon is here every day. Between this one Not every day. and Amazon, they're here every day. Every day. That's what I'm saying. Every day. They're here, they're here every day. I, 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 and I want sometimes, to, sometimes two times a day. And I'm doing the video so that he will be honest about whether he thinks I'm addicted to Amazon, which I don't think I am because I, I can control it. Sometimes and, two times a day. Sometimes and two times a day. It's usually stuff that I need. At the, in the Amazon building, they have like a special board just for this house. <laughs> Two times a day. No. Got kind of, though, because one for me, one for Alex. <laughs> so. <laughs> but let's get started. Okay, these are things that I got this week, and I held on to them because I knew I wanted to do this video. And I, I must really love you guys because usually when I get my Amazon stuff, I'm ready to open it. I don't know about nobody else. It's like Christmas time. But it's like Christmas time. I want to open it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So, you want to... I don't know. What's, it, what's in here? It's a bag. Let's see what's in here. Y'all notice... You'll notice that the Amazon is starting to get cheap now. Everything needs to come like on a box. And yeah. now it comes in the bag. And some of y'all stuff come just the way it is with, with a stick on it. <laughs> in the plastic. In the you plastic. see through it. <laughs> but if here it, it is. If it comes from the warehouse that's right down the street, depending on what it is, like if it's a blouse or something like that, they just stick it in a plastic Ziploc bag. They and built a warehouse so it'd be close to the house. <laughs> We have a warehouse that down. You can there. almost see it from here. No, you can't. You can't. You almost see it. <laughs> and it kept getting closer. Is what's funny because there was one in. There was one in in, uh, in that was a few miles away. They went, wait, we can build one closer to the Lawson's house. Now there's one right down from where I, the building where I work. <laughs> you can almost see it from here. Okay. And in this one, this is something edible. Is it? Yes. I think that's the one. It's plastic. I don't know if it's edible. It must be Cheetos. No. Oh. But it it's something I, I bought last Saturday. I bought some coconut. You get that closer so they... Coconut, um, what is it? Pistachios. And these are uh, coconut pistachios. They are very yummy. And, um... Not pistachios. Cashews. Cashews. I'm sorry. <laughs> they're cashews. And they're, um, they're very good. They're, and then it's not too sweet to where it raises your sugar level and stuff. So it's got, it just got coconut. So that, because normally my, my son likes the honey ones. And he said that. He said the honeys are better. But I like these because they're not too sweet and it doesn't raise my sugar. So not that I don't have diabetes. But I'm trying to keep from getting it. No, we ain't got the sugar. We don't have the sugar <laughs> in this house. Okay. Okay. The next one. I don't know. This I did not one. order any of these, so I don't know. We'll do this one. I don't have any idea. I know what it is. It's just shoes. It's shoes. And I have this thing now for sneakers. I rarely wear regular shoes anywhere, even to church. 
I have dressy sneakers for church because they're comfortable and it's stylish now to wear sneakers with dresses and, and things like that. So that's what I do. And these are like, uh, what do they call them? Kind of like Vans. Y'all remember when Vans were the cheap old, thing? And old people shoes. <laughs> they, they were the when Vans were cheap, and you get Vans, and Vans were like hot boxes. Y'all remember? Some y'all remember hot boxes? Vans were like hot boxes. You get Vans, you could get them um, them shades that are, that are super popular now that were mm -hmm. cheap. Yeah. Now, well, these are some Vans that have the back out in them, so you can just slide your foot in. And they are stretchy. now the way that your mama said not to wear them. With the back. <laughs> Get your foot off the back. <laughs> I walk it on the back of your shoe. <laughs> the back of the, these are out. So they're like, what do they call them? Uh, mules that you can step into. And I figured these would be cute for Sunday with a little black dress. And Or on Saturdays going shopping. And they're very comfortable. And they were 20 bucks. Mm. Okay. There you go. So, those are some mules. What's happened is, is we've developed this interesting combination of stuff. So, sort of, I, I call it the Walmart effect, where you go to Walmart and you get like a chicken, you get like a tire, you get like a, a knife and uh, some boiled peanuts <laughs> and get your hair done. <laughs> and nails. And get your nails done. Remember when mm -hmm. Amazon used to be just for books? What? Books? People used to read? People used to read. <laughs> And you know what? Oh, is, are we, uh, is it a throwback? It's a book. It's a very large book. You want to open it? Yeah, thank you. It's a, it's a coffee table book. and. Oh, it's a book that you're not supposed to read. <laughs> but, not, but this is going to be interesting. It, it's it's in, in, I bought it in honor of Black History Month because it's very interesting. And one of my YouTubers, Tiffany... Tiffany family, family vibes. Fam, yeah, family vibes. She's a vlogger that I really have started fell in love with, and um, and she ordered this book, and I thought it was very interesting. And it's and I'm trying not to cut my arm off. Y'all just have to skew with me for a minute. So I bought it in honor of Black History Month. I'm gonna leave it on my coffee table probably always as a conversational piece, but it's gonna be interesting to read as well. It's very big. It's a box. A little box. It's black Hollywood. And this backwards her butt. Well, you'll be able to see it. You'll, you'll be able to see it. Y'all can figure that out. But it's black Hollywood. It's a very neat book. And what they did is they took iconic movies and different things that um they took all of it and they put black people in it yeah made, made it with black people and on the front here <laughs> i know he hates when they do movies like that but i Go, thought this book was because there were no black people in movies before they had to put black people in place of white people <laughs> they could have concentrated on the black movies <laughs> but they didn't and this the front of this is um and I, that's why I like it so much because it has that breakfast at Tiffany's um, person, um, Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn, a Audrey white Hepburn. woman. Audrey Hepburn was the one in Breakfast at Tiffany's, and that was my mom's favorite romantic comedy. And she, I still have the movie that she had on VHS, and she would watch it all the time. And it has that uh, uh, this model here. I don't know what her name is. Someone we don't even know. We ain't a woman much know. But she, it was very cute. And this is made by Ebony Magazine. Of course. Ebony Magazine. Because you don't, because we don't buy that magazine anymore. Because no. none of y'all do. Because I, I used to get it on my Kindle. I and read it that way. I read magazines that way. But um, my mom used to get, and I forgot she has all those Ebony magazines. We don't she them. God bless them. <laughs> and she would say them, and I used to go back and look at it, and it had all the, you know, the black history stuff in there and everything. But this book is, it's kind of different. Weird, bizarre, really. <laughs> Who's that? I don't have no idea who that is. 
She's supposed to be fair or false. I don't have any idea. And, I, and this is Chuck Nee Ross. This is Diana Ross's daughter. They've got a man playing, um, they have a woman in place of Charlie Chaplin in the front of the book. Charlie Chaplin was obviously a white Jewish guy. I don't know who that is. That's <coughs> Kelsey Scott. Kelsey Scott. Ever heard of her? Of course not. And she's with Charlie Chaplin. I don't know what all that blood stuff is. Uh, because that's some that's that's some movie. Uh, Chainsaw. Be fair or false. Texas Chainsaw Masters. Fight Club. Uh, cabaret. Yeah, have a Joel, uh, woman um, dressed up like, like Joel Gray. Marla Gibbs. Got to remember Marla Gibbs, right? Right. They just, they should just take pictures of Marla Gibbs. Marla That's Gibbs. what they did with this. She's not being anybody. She's, she's not trying to be somebody else. Good. She's herself. Good. The psycho movie. And some some somebody who's <laughs> oh, and you got some some black dude playing John Travolta in in um you know, Saturday Night Fever. Help me, Jesus. <laughs> but I thought it was a good conversational piece book, book to put on the, the coffee table. So I'm, I'm gonna try not to have a conversation. But... Oh, so a really light skinned black woman looking like a white woman. That's good. <laughs> Marlena Dietrich. She's that supposed don't, to be. I don't get it. I'm, I'm sorry. I know. He's very different from me, I don't but get it at all. he don't he doesn't get it. Not but I I like not it. Not even a little bit. And it was it was nineteen ninety nine. It was 1999. What's in the big box? And the big box is not even for me. Oh, okay. So want to open it? Who's it for? <laughs> it's for my critters. Oh, so it's not for me either. <laughs> so y'all thought it was for me, and I would have to be all, all contrite. But it's not for me either. Uh-huh. Fooled you, didn't we? <laughs> Let's see what this is. No, see, I don't see it. This one is for you, so you should just be 999. Nine, nine, nine. And so y'all was like 999 nine, 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 wrong. Because I knew it wasn't for me. But I order stuff for him all the time. Did I not get you something last week? What did we get last week? I bought you some underwear. Oh, yeah, I had some underwear. I had some drawers. <laughs> But I do surprise him a lot. There you go. And it's birdseed. Birdseed. Well, or actually, squirrel food. Squirrel food. Uh, the squirrels are out there more than the birds, and that's why we go. I go through it so much because this is like fourteen bucks a, a bag, and it lasts. <laughs> it lasts about. Maybe four weeks. I don't know. Maybe about four, about a month. It, it, it lasts about a month. I have this little container over here that I put it in and I scoop it out. And they go through. It, it's like the more I fill it up, the more they eat. And there's this one squirrel that lives in the front tree out here. He stays there pretty much all day. That animal eats all day long every day. All day. And, the, and if it goes empty... Comes to the window, not to the window. He comes to the window. Hey, at my office. I'm hungry. And look at me. He knocks on the window. I'm wasting away. <laughs> chubby, chubby, chubby. And he just stands there with his little paws chubby, like chubby, this. Chubby, chubby, chubby. And he's so cute. I can't resist. He's super fat because he eats all day long every day. And plus, I get well. I buy the peanuts. I buy for the squirrels. And then I buy the bird seed for the birds. And the birds come, and I get to see all kinds. And you would not believe almost every bird, because they have on the back of here the different types of birds that will come and visit. I see finches. I see um, robins, blue jays, woodpeckers, Cardinal. cardinals. All of the birds that they have listed on the back of here. And the hawks come to eat the squirrels. <laughs> That's true. We have a hawk that lives the hawk's around like, here. Mm, that, and, one, that one looks tasty and, and chubby. When they, and when they're all gathered out there eating and stuff, he, you all once in a while you see the hawk come die down. and 
He gotta eat too. Circle of lies. <laughs> he gotta eat too. You know? I try not to pay attention to that, but I had I can't have a pet. So these birds, bird watching and squirrel watching is what I do now. Why can't I have a pet? Because we have Amazon. <laughs> I say it's him, but but really we have come to an agreement that we we really don't want to get another pet. I love kitty cats, and I have from the time I was three years old, I have always had a kitty cat in my life. I've always had a cat, even when I was in Tallahassee living by myself. I had like feral cats and all this. I. I've always had a cat in my life and the, the 35 years that we've been married from the time when I moved in with him over at Swiss Villa. Oh, it's been a while. Yeah. And we adopted Pia. We had Pia for over 20 years. And then when Pia passed, we got G. And we had G for nearly 20 and years. And in the meantime, while we had G, uh, we got uh, my mother-in-law. We got Tammy and mom cats, so they were together for a while. So we for a few years. So for most of our married life, almost in our entire married life, these the past few years, we've we've had some sort of feline walking around the house. Yes, and we love our them. clothes have been covered in cat hair for thirty years, <laughs> and we love them. And still is. But yeah, every now and then we see some signs of some G. Some G hair. Yeah. Um, but um, it's it's just, it, the last one was just so hard on us. Losing G, he was, they're they're family members, and it was just so hard losing him because you know they get old and and you have to take care of them just like you do family members. Plan sadness. Yes. It's plan sadness. So he we decided that we might just wait until we retire and get a turtle. <laughs> Turtles. So they live 150 years. <laughs> they live a long time. I don't want a turtle. You can will them to I'll other people. You can actually will them to other people. I want a cat. You can die and go, here's a turtle. <laughs> I either want a cat or a, a little rat dog, as you call them. But I want a pet when I retire. And I, fi I figure I can live another 20 years after I retire and the pet can live with me. So that's what my mom did. Her last pet, she out, she you know, it outlived her. So, a turtle, we all lose off. Our tortoise, they live 150 years. No, I don't want a turtle. We can call it, we call it Bubba, yeah. Bubba two, mm -hmm. and then they can go work at Bush Gardens and earn money. No, no, no. I think that'd be great. I want a cat or a dog. So. What is your analysis, Mr. Lawson? I don't have I don't have any analysis. This is more this is more Amazon stuff, and it, it is that sort of bird seed, um, cashew book no, shoes. The question was it's weird. Do you think I'm think me and your son are addicted? Yes, to and there isn't anything I can do about it. The answer is yes, and there's nothing I can do about it. See, you can't. I can stop whatever see, I want. Which means what? <laughs> Every addict ever has said, I go wherever I want to. I just don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Y'all know what that means. You can't give people help until, until they won't help. So Put down on the, in the bottom whether you comment and say whether you think Miss Debbie is addicted to Amazon or not. Now, and see, I know what y'all going to do, but that's all right. <laughs> Y'all ain't here. <laughs> and, ta and and share this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Try to get our number. We want to get to 200 um, subscribers by the summer. And right now we're at 177. So help us out. All righty, y'all. You hear that? That's we, we, it's traffic outside. Oh, I, I, don't know if they, I don't know if they can hear that. But there's traffic outside. On the other side of the street is, is the river. So sometimes we... People are out there on their personal watercraft, and we hear yes. that too. Because uh, it's Florida. That's why. It's Florida. And we live off the river. There you go. All right, folks, we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn some about somebody. And for you to say, take care of yourself. Remember this, and never forget. Love you. And there's nothing you can do about it.
Peace. They built a warehouse so it'd be close to the house. <laughs>